Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jacob in Between, where we open the butt cracks of fashion and look deep inside. Today, Vogue is poking at us from deep inside, saying hello, and Vogue has made their choice. What do they call it? <sighs> you guys, style icon of 2021 as selected by Vogue. Now, <laughs> Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube before we get to the details. I push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today. Uh, you can also join me on Patreon. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Ellen. Thank you so much, sweetie. Two Canadian dollars and 79 cents super chat from Ellen underscore N. Thank you so much, sweetie. Uh, no, wait, wait. Thank you, thank you. So, you guys, uh, let me cue in my people. I live stream every Saturday. Uh, be sure to join me uh, every Saturday because uh, you get to partake in the chats together with us. So, we're talking a Vogue icon. What is it? Fashion? Style icon of 2021. Who was named? Don't Google it. Now, for those of you who are watching this video later on, it's going to be in the title. But just for the sake of us here being live right now, try to guess quickly here in the chats who you think Vogue nominated or Vogue let win as style icon of 2021. But don't cheat. All right. And for those of you who are watching the video later, you obviously already know. This is just a fun game to play while we're live. Another one of the reasons to watch me live and join the live conversations and live streams every Saturday on my YouTube channel. Um, oh, Iris Apple would be great. Kim K. Dula Peep. <laughs> Dula Peep. My guess would be Cupcake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Billy Ellish. <laughs> Ellish. Fauci. Yeah, Fauci is a style icon. Come on. Please not a random influence. Um, Gigi. Emily in Paris. Emily in Paris is not a real person. Wendy Williams, for sure. I would give Wendy an award, for sure. Greta Thunberg, I think she's like, for Vogue standard, she's not in anymore. She won all the awards like two years ago. She's so out right now, fashion-wise. Zendaya, Cardi B, girl from Spider-Man. K-pop singer, Nancy Pelosi. Blake Lively. Cardi B, Ivanka, Latoya Jackson, I wish, Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge, the girl from Squid Game. <laughs> I would say Squid Game itself. Oh, the Chalamet. Oh, please, no, please not Chalamet. Olivia Rodrigo, BTS. Kimberly says me, LOLOL. Lauren Breen says Eilish, not Elish. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez says scam. Irene says, oh my God, I came back from work and you're like still here. It's my first time live here. I love the way you laugh so freely. Thank you so much, Irene. Irene, lovely as usual. Thank you for coming back to us. Inca1890, Pete Davidson. Joseph says, Joan of Arch, Nancy Reagan. Well, girl, of 2021, they'd be dead for a couple of centuries. Well, Joan, at least. Paris Hilton says, Sharon. Charlize Theron says, Florida. BTS without the T. Oh, just BS is Jesus. Ooh, the shade. Gigi Hadid says, Vanessa. Maggie Gyllenhaal says, Paris. Pete Davidson is so, so sexy, says Henry. Speak for yourself, girl. <laughs> Bakery Mafia says, Jesus. Kathy Hilton. Okay, the girl from Queen's Gambit. All right, you guys. Well, nobody guessed. Nobody. Nobody guessed. Um, let me just... Uh, Vogue hath decideth uh, or decideth um, who there this year's or last year, 2021 2021 fashion icon is a drum roll Adam Frickin' Sandler is this year's fashion icon, and Liana Satinstein loves it. Liana, Liana reported on December 21st. Liana reported for Vogue that Adam Sandler 
is 2021's fashion icon. Let that sink in. <laughs> there you go. So which again shows us that this fashion world is kind of out of tune with what the people want. <laughs> again, yet again. Ah, there you go. Jesus, you could be working for Vogue because this comment is exactly what summarizes the reason why they chose him. Well, let's get to it. So, Liana, she living for it, dying for it, she begging for it. She begging for it. So, if there was a fashion zodiac for 2021, it would be the year of the schlub. The proof is in the Google trend results. Adam Sandler beat out Harry Styles, Lizzo, and Britney Spears to be the top search for celebrity style. Yes, Adam Sandler, best known for his parachute size basketball shorts, while heartthrob Styles. Listen, Harry Styles is not a heartthrob to me. Just saying. While heartthrob... Actually, actually, I have more of a heartthrob for uh, Adam Sandler than for uh, Styles. Just saying. While heartthrob Styles goes viral with his plucked from the runway dresses, Sandler garners genuine attention for his oversized t-shirts and equally spacious pants. One wonders, why do the pants need to be so big? While Styles' pants are always like super tight, it looks like he has a camel toe instead of something else. Accessorized with a jar of pickles. I'm not completely surprised that, Sandler's ha that Sandler has achieved this accolade. He's the unofficial ambassador of pan lockdown style. The past 18 months have been dominated by all things cushy sweatpants, and sweatshirts. Sandler, Sandler has long encapsulated this look. Search Adam Sandler's style, and the results show a dude who looks like he's made an imprint on his L.A.Z. boy. I guess lazy boy. <laughs> the actor wears huge, blooming basketball shorts, oversized polos, and untied basketball shoes, a low-key grocery run look that everyone has more or less adopted in their own way over the past several months. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, queen, hey. Hey, Queen, hey. The Wintessie says, Trisha Paytas was dressing like him, so maybe they are into something. <laughs> Guys, Trisha says she is a they. Right? Trisha says she is a they. But can they be a bride? Because Trisha just got married. And Trisha allowed the whoever was wedding them, in both instances, in Hawaii and somewhere else, to call Trisha a she. And she became a bride, but she says she's a they. That's a vegan, but ate meat in the video after the wedding. Please make it make sense. Um, Julie Scott asks, should I start dressing like him now? <laughs> oh, my love, you are free to wear whatever you like, and you would look fabulous in it, let me tell you. Gloria Resina says, I'm shooketh. Hmm. Anna has developed a... Who? Anna? Which Anna? Oh, Wintour? Yeah, well, you know. Anna Wintour couldn't help but wonder. And I'm... Dot, dot, dot. Henry says, maybe Trisha Pastas is Adam Sandler. <laughs> Pastas. Oh my God, Pastas. You guys, Snow Musa, she's a chicken nugget. I loved her chicken nugget moment. That was it for me. That consolidated her to an icon. Um, it has gone up a hundred dollars since the last time I purchased a bottle. Uh, what are we talking about here? Oh, we're off topic. Stay on topic. Jack says Vogue would never actually choose someone who had style. That is never their intention. That's why, that's why the Kardashians were on the cover of Vogue. All right. But, um, 
So Sandler's look is a funny outlet from a depressive reality. Many people are alienated from their uh, colleagues and friends, becoming one with their comforter and their sweatpants. The world might be burning and brands might be attempting to bring back celebratory dressing. But in the meantime, at least Sandler lends a hilarious face to the state of fashion. Sandler is also a fashion anti-hero. He's reached such a level of success that he can live by his own style standards, which are low <laughs> and comfortable. After all, given Sandler's star status, he doesn't have to prove anything and certainly doesn't need to be hip, which is what Jesus was saying before. He don't give a flying F. And you know what? That does make him quite hot, except the Ugg boot got to go. This guts to go. This gives me, this gives me stinky feet moment like nothing else does. Like, and somebody might be into the stinky foot. No, I don't do that fetish. I don't do that. Coco Kitty CC says Vogue has a great sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Montezzi says, how does Adam smell like? What is his perfume? Musk. <laughs> Old Spice and Hockey Bag. Cha. Let me tell you. Coco Kitty CC. Julie says, I would love to see his reaction to this news. I don't think he reads Vogue. He probably doesn't even know. But he, he knows. I'm sure his team let him know. Vogue is first and foremost about profits and efficiency. Mm -hmm. Like all fashion. Jack says, sweaty football jersey. So now we're glamorizing schlub culture? Yes, Christian. Well, we are. We're not Vogue, darling. They are. Julia says, I would love to see his reaction to this new... Oh my God, why am I repeating myself? Sorry, guys. Yes, but no, says Sandler Wood. <gasps> Ooh, yes, but no, you cheeky little devil. You cheeky, cheeky little devil. Paris Vision Stone says, Aqua Velva. Cheetos smell says N. Uh, Carolyn says, not in a million years voted in the UK. Let me tell you. Well, this was it, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if Adam Sandler deserves to be style icon of 2021. And if not, who would you have picked instead? Till next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Subscribe. Thumb up the video. Mwah.